Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be talking about some books that I really need to buy. So since your girl is a rural college student, I do not have the uh, finances to buy every book that I would like. I would love to fill my shelves with all the books that I want on my wish list, but that's not possible. So today I'm just going to be listing off some books that I wish I had because I really want to read them, like, really badly. So the first one is The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein by Kirsten White. I really want to read this book because earlier in the semester for my British literature class, I read Frankenstein for the first time, and I really enjoyed it. And this book came out around the same time that I was finishing the novel, and I just, I wanted it so badly because I was so obsessed with the story at the time. I, I didn't buy it. I don't have money to buy the book. Um, I really want to also because I have been loving Kirsten White's other books, the Anti Darken series that I'm currently reading. I just, I want more of her books. All I know about this book is that it tells the story of Elizabeth Frankenstein, who is Dr. Frankenstein's like betrothed. And it's just her story and trying to deal with Victor being so distant and weird. I really want to get this book. <laughs> the next one is Unbroken, 13 Stories of Disabled Teens. And this book has many, many, many authors. I can't remember all of them, so I can't list them off for you, but they're on the book cover. I don't think I've read any of the books from any of these authors, but this book did spark my interest because we don't get a lot of books out there in the world that stars disabled teenagers and being a I don't want to say I'm completely disabled I don't have a wheelchair I'm not an amputee or anything but I do have a chronic illness when it comes to my joints I have this disorder that leaves a bunch of people in wheelchairs but because of the physical therapy that I've done and I've gone through I am able to stand and walk without all that much pain and I just would love to read stories about these kids because I've gone through some stuff and I just think this would be a great story for me to read. It's just a it's just a compilation of 13 stories of teens who are disabled and it just sounds wonderful. The next one is Pride by E.B. Zaboy. I have been wanting this book for so long ever since I heard it was coming out because Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen is one of my favorite books of all time and this is a retelling of it and I just I, I I want it so bad. I love retellings of Jane Eyre and Pride and Prejudice and I have not yet read a good Pride and Prejudice retelling and that needs to happen and I really hope this is that good retelling. I don't know a lot about these books Sorry, <laughs> I can't really give y'all synopsis, synop, synopsis, synopsi, uh, summaries? I can't give y'all summaries <laughs> because I don't know the summary myself. And I like to go into books more blindly. I don't like to get all the information just because I think it, it ruins the experience a little bit. So I don't know all that much about it except it's a Pride and Prejudice retelling and I love my Pride and Prejudice so I can't wait to read this one. Next is Catwoman Soul Stealer by Sarah J Mass. Sarah J Mass is one of two of my favorite authors of all time and I have yet to read Who Am I? I have not picked this book up yet, number one, because it's number three in like this DC universe sequel that all these authors are writing. It's number three and so I don't know if I should read the other books that are written by other authors before this one, which I don't really want to do. I'm not a big DC fan. Don't hate me. And I know nothing about Catwoman except what she looked like in the old Superman movies. When I was a kid, that's the only thing I can remember Catwoman is her in her cat costume. That's the only thing. And I don't know anything about Catwoman, so this could either be a hit or miss for me, but I still want it nonetheless to add to my Sarah J Maas collection. Next we have The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. So this book is everywhere on booktube. Everywhere on booktube. Seems like everybody's reading it. I know nothing about it except it's about this woman who is set to write the biography of Evelyn Hugo who's like this big who was this big famous Hollywood actress and she just like learns all this stuff about her I don't know I haven't I don't know a lot about this book but I know that everyone is raving about it I have not come across anyone yet who says that they disliked it and most people are giving it like five out of five stars are in love with it and I could use some five out of five stars reads right now and I just I want to read it 
really badly. <laughs> Next we have All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. Again, I am a Colleen Hoover lover. I love Colleen Hoover's books. I've not yet read all of her books yet, but I have read all of her most recent ones, except for this one. This is her most recent work, and I just haven't gotten around to picking it up yet, unfortunately. All I know about this book is that it deals with a married couple going through some struggles with their relationship. And that is new for Colleen Hoover because she has not written about a married couple, at least I don't think. Out of all the books that I've read and all the ones that I know about, none of the couples have been married before. Except there is one scene and it ends with us. That's a spoiler. There's kind of a married couple and it ends with us. But is that a spoiler? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't I didn't say what happened. I'm gonna just stop. It sounds really, really good. I've heard great things about it. It's up for um I think best romance for the Goodreads Choice Awards and I just, I need to pick it up because I need to read all the Colleen Hoover and I just need to pick up all of Colleen Hoover's books because I haven't finished all of them yet. Next is Cloaked in Shadow by Ben Alderson. I love Ben's channel so much. If y'all didn't know, Ben is a YouTuber and I think his, I think his username now is just Ben Alderson. It used to be um, another username. He changed it just because he didn't want his platform to solely be about books. I just love love his channel a lot i've loved them for forever he came out with this book with his publishing company because he owns his own publishing company it's like a fantasy book world dealing with elves and our main character elf is a uh, gay and it just seems like so interesting and unlike anything i've read before and so i really want to pick it up to see what i'm missing and to just support ben because i love his videos so much next is to all the boys i loved before by jenny han i have not read this book yet everyone has but me. I really wanna pick up the books, the whole series, not just the first one, I wanna pick up the whole series and finally get to reading them because they look like such a good, like trashy YA contemporary series that like I totally need to be on board with. And I've already seen the movie because like I caved and the movie looked so good and everyone was just talking about it and I didn't own the book, but I had the movie right there on Netflix. So I watched the movie instead of reading the book first, which I'm fine with. I don't care if you watch the movie before the book, not that big of a deal to me. I wanna know what happens. The there's not gonna probably be another movie out for a while if they're even going to do another movie and I just I want to know what happens <laughs> the end of the movie like if you don't know the book series probably ended up wrapping up real nicely but people know that there are two other books in the series that you need to read it's not just, it doesn't end like that so I want to know what happens and lastly we have Phoenix Unbound by Grace Draven this is Grace Draven's most recent work and I love Grace Draven a lot. She has written Radiance and Master of Crows, which I love so much. Both five out of five star series for me. I know nothing about this book except that there's a woman who has to get burned at the stake every year. And but she she like survives burning at the stake every year because she has some powers or something and a guy notices her doing that. I don't know anything else about that. I love anything Grace Draven, so I need to pick this one up pronto. There you'll have it. Those are some books that I really need to buy. If you have read any of these books, please let me know. I need to know everyone's thoughts on these books. I need to know that other people also haven't read them so I don't feel alone. So if you haven't read these books either, join me in the wanting of these books. Don't forget to uh, subscribe if you haven't already, if you really enjoyed my content. I love making videos like these, so also let me know if you enjoyed this video in particular. Go ahead and leave a like if you liked this video. All my social media links are linked down below. We have my Instagram and my uh, Goodreads, and we have my Twitter where you can find funny tweets like these. They're pretty funny, so please go follow me on Twitter. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see y'all soon with a new video. Bye!